it's... Oh, we've been walking a long time, Jesus. Are we almost there? Well, um, okay, here we are. We're here at, okay, we're finally at the temple, Jesus. Woo, I'm tired, Jesus. You sure have a lot of strength, and you can walk a lot. Oh, okay, what, wait, what is that? That's the money collector guy. What, what is he saying? Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus went ahead. Okay, what, oh, uh, tribute money oh, that we should pay? Um, uh, uh, well, uh, okay, I don't have any money on me now. Let me go, let me go talk to, let me go talk to Jesus. Um, Jesus, Jesus, uh, yeah, the, the, the guy wants our, our tribute money. You know what tribute money is? Anybody know what tribute money is? It's kind of like what we just put in that offering plate. What? Oh, yeah, Jesus, I, I know what tribute money is. It's like, it's like when you have to, you know, the, collect, they collect money um, so that they can, you know, do things in the temple all so that they can serve, serve the Lord. So that's what they want to collect money for, Jesus. And they asked us, I mean, but Jesus, you're the Lord. Why should you have to pay tribute money? If the money we get is supposed to help the church so they can wait for you, Jesus, to come. Why should we have, what's that, Jesus? Oh, we should pay it anyway so we don't, we don't offend them? Okay, okay, Jesus, okay, I, uh, there's one little problem with that. I don't have any money. Jesus, you, you, no, you don't have any money either. Well, what are we gonna do? Shall I go borrow it? Maybe I'll, hey, hey, you got, you got some tribute money I can have? Anybody got some extra? No, you don't. Oh, dear. Um, okay, well, where, where can we get the money from? You, you're going to tell me, Jesus, where I can get the money from the name? No, not the name. Say what now? You want me to go do what? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Money's not. And then the first one, can, can, how about five or ten? What? You all are not going to believe how Jesus wants. Okay. J <sighs> should I question him? Should I? How many of you think I should do what Jesus said? <sighs> okay. Well, I have learned... As Jesus' faithful disciple, mine is not to question why. Mine is just to do my best and try. Okay? All right. Okay, Jesus, I I'll be back. I got to get this money, but you got to believe how Jesus wants me to get this money. Okay, I'm walking over here. Here we go. Okay, I'm at the beach. Yeah, Jesus wanted me to go to the beach to get the money. Can you believe that? Okay, all right. Uh, oh, I don't have any supply. There's a net. Are you following me? Guess what he wants me to do. Okay, wait. Oh, there's an extra, excuse me, can I use this fishing rod, anybody? No. Okay, believe it or not, my name is not Paul, but, okay. Okay, I got this fishing rod. Okay, inside family joke. All right, okay, all right, let me just wade in the water a little bit. Okay, ooh, water's a little cold. Okay, I'm going in the water with my fishing rod. Okay, okay. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm in the water with a rod. What do you think I'm going to do? Ah, we got some smart ones up here. Okay, all right. So I can't, but Jesus, really? Jesus wants me, well, I just have to obey my master. Jesus knows best. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm going to fish. Ah, okay, all right. And Jesus said the first, he doesn't even want me to catch five or ten and use a net. You know, I'm a fisherman. I know how to do these things. But the first fish, I don't know, what, what does this have to do with the money? I don't get it. But Sometimes Jesus says things, okay, oh, 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 the fish is biting, okay, I got it, I got it, okay, I'm rolling it up, okay, 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 I don't know how I'm doing this, okay, I haven't fished in a long time, maybe it's that, okay, here we go, here we go, oh, here it comes, oh, look at the wiggly, do you see the fish, look at it wiggling, oh, oh, oh okay, I got it, oh, it's a slippery one, okay, 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 here, I got this fish, oh, oh, it's slipping, it's slipping, okay, here we go, I'm okay, I, oh, oh, let me get that hook out, oh, oh, the fish is, have any of you caught a fish? What can you say? Well, you know what happens when fish are wet? And most fish really are wet. So um, what happens? Anybody? Anybody know? How would you describe them? Mm, they're slippery little guys. All right. So Jesus said, open its mouth. Why don't I just sell the fish and get some money? Oh, I, that would make more sense to me, right? Okay. But wait, Jesus said to open his mouth. Oh, oh don't bite me. Please don't bite me, fishy. Okay. Ugh. Look, everybody look in the mouth. What do you see? What do you think is in the mouth of the fish? What? What, I can't hear you, what? Money. Oh, did you know this story before I told it? Look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Not just money. It's the exact money we need for a tribute money. Oh, 
praise the Lord, Jesus had me go fish. How did he know that fish would have money in the mouth? I don't believe this. Okay, I'm going to go back to the church. Oh, 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 here you go, fish. Yeah, go back in the water. You're free, although I really wanted some fried fish today. I'm going to let you go. Okay, and, and I have the money. Did I sell that fish to get money? Where, where, where did I get the money from? From the fish. Where in the fish? Did I have to cut that fish open? No, where was the money? I, what? Where was the money? Oh, oh. And that was my son. I'm so proud. I didn't tell him the story beforehand, by the way. Uh, in the mouth. He listens to me. In the mouth of the fish. And you know what? Boys and girls are two lessons we can learn today. And Peter went back and he paid that tribute money to the church. And boys and girls, there are two wonderful lessons I want you to learn from this. Okay? First of all, when we give money in church, it helps. You know, when you, how many of you, we just put, how many of you have ever given offering in church? I saw, oh, you're wonderful children. Thank you. And do you know what happens with that money? Mm. They take it to the back. Who knows what happens with it? Do you think all the deacons and elders, do you think they go shopping and get new shoes with that money? Huh? You don't. No, 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 no. No, they don't. Okay? They use that money to help the church, to help the church learn more and get closer to God. Isn't that wonderful? That's why we give money in church. And you know what, boys and girls? That's one good lesson that we can learn. And the second lesson, boys and girls, where did Jesus find the money? Did they find it in their pockets? Did they go sell something to get money? Did they go get a job that day to get money? Although that's a good thing to do, okay? Get a job, all right? Don't go fishing just because you think you're going to find money, okay? But it's not, I don't want you all to go fishing so you can go open all the mouths of the fish and see if they have any money. It's because Jesus, anytime you need something, if you don't have any money, who can help you get it if you need it? Who can help you? Yes! God, Jesus can help us. Boys, and you know, sometimes as adults, it's hard in this economy, let me tell you. It is hard. We don't have enough money to pay our mortgage or get gas or buy just any simple thing. But Jesus says, ask. Anybody know what, how, to, how that ends when Jesus promises us? Ask. Son, I'd be real surprised if you knew that one. But ask and. Thank you, Joel. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Jesus can give you whatever you need if only you ask him. How many of you are going to give offering to Jesus? And how many of you are going to trust Jesus to provide what and give you whatever you need? Wonderful. You've been wonderful boys and girls. And you may go back to your seats now. Mm -hmm.